What's that? Say welcome to my channel. Okay, you say welcome to my channel for me. <laughs> What's going on everyone? We're uh, here today. We're reviewing a paddle board and it's uh, the blue one here on the right. It is a fun water paddle board. Um, so the idea behind this paddle board was uh, to get the kids into the sport. So the one on the left, as you can see, is a uh, body glove performer 11. It's an 11 footer. Uh, and the one on the right is a 10 footer. Now, the reason we wanted to go with the one on the right, first of all, the one on the right is a little bit of a less expensive uh, paddle board. It's one from Amazon and it retails for $330. Um, we didn't want to spend too much money on it being for the kids. Um, we didn't think that they needed a big paddle board to uh, scoot about on the water. So we ended up going that way, trying to yeah, give it a whirl just to see how it how it holds up. Um, now the difference between the two of them, the one on the left is a little bit more substantial. It's an 11 footer compared to a 10 footer with, uh, with the fun water. With the body glove, you're looking at 34 inches versus 34, uh, 31 inches on the fun water. So it's a little bit, a little bit narrower. Um, the other thing too is the capacity. The weight capacity on the fun water is 230 pounds. And on our old uh, body glove is 320 pounds that it can hold up. Um, aside from that, there are a few other differences between the two of them. As you can see, the fins on the performer are built right in. Whereas on this little Amazon one, they are not. So you have to clip them in. You have three fins that, that it comes with. So we would have to flip them over to clip them into place. I'm not sure how that's gonna hold up. Um, some other differences too, the kids tend to be uh, drawn to the idea of having this little backrest so they can try it out sort of like a kayak. How do you feel with that, Stella? Good. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Really good. And Scarlett? Are you a little jealous that you don't have a little backrest? Yeah. Yeah? You are? Just a little bit? Okay. <laughs> One of the other differences here um, that I noticed, and I guess that comes with paying a little bit more premium uh, of a price with the paddle board, your ankle leash. Can you stand up, Scarlett? Now, this one is a little bit of a coil, so it retracts nicely. Stella, can you stand up? On the fun water. Come back here, Stella. As you can see, it's not a coil. It's a bungee. Um, so curious to see how that's gonna do for uh, for the kids when they're out in the water. It's nice that the coil retracts so it stays out of the way, um, just in case you need to kind of step around a little bit. The other thing too is, hold on a second, Scarlett. You can see that the width on that body glove leash is a little bigger than on this one here. And um, I can just imagine that it's also a little bit more comfortable. What do you think, Scarlett? Good. Good, yeah. My little helpers here are wearing bathing suits, even though it's the dead of winter outside. Uh, so needless to say, we're not going to be trying these on the water for you guys today. We just wanted to give you a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, the other thing too is the accessories that they come with. The Fun Water, even though it's a smaller paddle board, took me 25 minutes to blow up uh, to 15 PSI. The Body Glove took me 12 minutes to fully inflate to 15 PSI also. Um, so they both come with a floor pump. I will not be using a floor pump when I, um, when we go out paddle boarding, but that's the one for the body glove. This is the one for the fun water. As you can see, the body glove is a little bit yeah. smaller than the other one. Um, however, one thing that I did notice with this pump is, is if you bring it all the way up, it tends to get stuck in that up position, which may be what slowed me down a little bit versus my body glove one. Now, the other thing with the body glove is that it has a two stage pump, right? So you have a single stage when you're on the downstroke and a dual stage when you're um, on the up and downstroke. 
right? I, for comparison purposes, used it only on the single stage just so that we can see how long it takes. And like I said, it was half the time with the body glove pump. The other thing in regards to the accessories, and this is where uh, the premium price comes in or shines through again, sorry. Um, the carrying bag that it comes with, I like the quality of the body glove one better. It has a little bit of padding in the back and it's, it's structured as well. So it's more comfortable to carry around. The one for the fun water, not so much, All right? It's more of a bag than anything else. It is waterproof, um, so it should do okay. And it's a little ventilated. But we'll have to see how it holds up. Are you moving on to the next video? No, I'm recording already. So the other thing too is um, both of them came with a little waterproof case for your cell phones. Now, let me see where I have. Here's the one for the body glove. So they're slightly different. I'm not sure how that one for um, for our new paddleboard or fun water is going to end up holding up for, for our iPhones. It has a little bit of a strap that you can put around your arm, whereas this one doesn't you kind of put around your neck with that big lanyard that it has. However, the other thing that I've noticed is that on hotter days, um, the phones do tend to go into um, into protection mode. So what I end up doing is I just loop them to one of the D-rings that, uh, that we have on the boards, throw it in the water and the phone stays cool and um, protection mode is not much of an issue. We do have more D-rings on the body glove that we do like. Um, not so much on the fun water style. Can you send that for a I wanna show everyone something here. So with the handle, as you can see, Scarlett, can you open that? Can you help Betty out? Whoa. So it has a little strap there on the carrying handle that you can secure a water bottle to, or as you saw, you can secure the paddles to for carrying, right, as such. And it makes it a little bit easier to transport from your vehicle over to the lake or river or wherever it is that you're going. This one, on the other hand, doesn't really have that, right? So it'll make it a little bit more challenging for somebody who's smaller. Um, we'll have to see how our boys handle this. Um, Hopefully, hopefully they'll do okay with it. The other thing at the front, this one just has four little points of contact for their bungee strap, whereas this one has six. All right, so we can secure a little bit of a bigger load on that one, I would imagine, than you can on this one. And aside from that, really that's all the differences that I've been able to notice on these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them um, inflated in the basement for a couple of days to see if they uh, lose air at similar rates. I know their air, air is going to come out of them a little bit, right? Um, but I want to see how they compare. So I'll compare the PSI by the time it's all said and done. And once we have nice warm weather, as you can see, these girls are dying to try them. They're already in their swimsuits, even though it's cold outside. Oh, how are you doing over there, Stella? Yeah. Trying to get the seat. Still on the switch. Scarlett, you have to take off your your leash if you're going to uh, to switch. Stella, can you let your sister try? Okay. Yeah, get that figured out. Um, the one thing that I actually I just remembered I wanted to show you with with the paddles is um, this. Stella, can I borrow your paddle for a moment? See this? So there are two different ways of securing these. And this is the one that comes with the fun water. It's got a little bit of a clamp there. Um, you have to turn this little lever back and forth just to kind of tighten it up and loosen it up so that it gives you the proper amount of pressure. And then it'll clamp the top part down. The body glove one 
as you can see, you have to slide this up and then it moves up and down and it has little holes in which the clip clamps down on. Stella, can you hold this for daddy? Mm -hmm. Trying to do this with one hand. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it's not gonna let me, but you guys kind of get the idea. It's a little difficult to do when I'm filming with one hand, trying to do it with both hands. With the other hand, hold on. Will it let me? No, it won't let me. Scarlett, how do you like that? Good. Good? Ooh, like it? Way. All right. So yeah, we'll, we'll follow it up in the springtime, hopefully with a little bit of a, a shorter video. I guess those D-rings are holding on pretty good. Let's see, Scarlett, what's in the back of that? There's a little, little pocket back here yeah. for your goodies, your water bottle maybe in the summertime. Yeah? Goodies. Your Wait, snacks. Does mine, does mine have one Some snacks. Uh, the orange one. Uh, the, the orange one does have one. We bought it, we ended up buying two of these so the kids can try them out in the summertime. So we'll have to see how they hold up. All right, so we will see you guys in the spring with a report on how they do on the water, see how they hold up, see if we're happy with them. We'll hopefully get some videos uh, of the kids on them who are going to be the primary users of these little fun waters, uh, paddle boards. And mom and I will use the body gloves since they're bigger. All right, so thank you for watching and uh, we will see you guys in a few months. Actually, Scar. Actually, Scar.